welcome to our weekly garden check-in. My name is Kelsey, children's educator here at Lewis Ginter Botanical Garden, and this week we're checking in from our observation hive in the apiary. This hive was built with a plexiglass window so that we can observe bees working in their hive without opening the hive and disturbing them. And we got the bees from a, another hive in our apiary by doing what's called a split. A split is when you make two hives from one. So we took frames from one of the hives in the apiary and we took frames of food or nectar, pollen, and honey uh, to put in our split. And we also took frames of brood or baby bees. And we took frames of brood in all stages. So we took a couple frames of eggs, a couple frames of larva, and a couple frames of capped brood, like you can see right here. And we do that so that there will be worker bees in the hive. But what about a queen? Once the worker bees sense that there is no queen in the hive, they will begin the process of rearing a new queen. And they do this by selecting an egg in the hive and feeding it a diet of royal jelly exclusively. Unlike the diet of a worker bee, which consists of royal jelly, pollen, and nectar. That special diet is what allows the queen bee to develop and her body to be different than a worker bee. They also build her a queen cell around her for her to pupate or change uh, from a larva to a queen bee. And that queen cell kind of resembles a peanut. It's kind of hard to tell in the observation hive because they've sort of built it against the plexiglass. But that's the queen cell where our queen is. And in a few days she will emerge and this hive will have a new queen. It takes about 16 days from egg to queen bee. So we're just waiting to see her come out and um, you guys should come check out our observation hive up in the apiary when you guys visit the garden. Thanks for checking in. Have a great week.